Well, I mean, it tasted okay. You know what's funny is... <laughs> you know what's funny is how very nonplussed Adol was about it. Like, this is supposed to be one of the most delicious things in the world. And Adol's like, nah, it's kind of mellow, kind of sweet. You know, whatever. Maybe he's just too cool to care, right? Well, I know that there are Rota trees. Maybe I haven't eaten enough of them. <laughs> Maybe that's my problem. I haven't killed enough unborn giant magic tree people. <laughs> I mean, that guy is legitimately in fear of becoming a, uh, a junkie, right? Let me see if I can find one of those trees and maybe, maybe, maybe I can shake it down for another one. Oh shit, tree people, they've come to arrest me. Alright man, give me all your stuff. I don't understand it. My name is Rhoda. I am one of the twin trees, born of the goddesses of the time of year. My leaves have felt the joyous timber. Oh, that's a pun. That's a bad tree pun, sir. Brings back so many memories. Wait, maybe I just... <laughs> I'm sorry, I don't speak witch. Well, okay, so I, all right, it's running around the woods talking to trees, you know. Apparently, I'm just the most hypocritical, heretical druid in the world. I wear all I wear all silver and steel armor. Come on, get up to my deeds. But you you swore a sacred oath, to obed high, to never to never use steel. It's like why steel comes out of the ground? What's what's unnatural about steel? It's the fact that it's been shaped by human hands. It's not something that comes from nature. What like a bow? Like are there bow trees that we just? You know, just just walk over and pluck a bow. Oh no, no, those are those were shaped by hands too, and so were your stupid arrows and all your slings. Yes, but it's different because it's it's made out of nature. You mean plants? Apparently, we all gotta just hit each other with sticks because plants are just so great. Hey, lady, are you gonna say anything different? Is your shoulder getting sunburnt? I'm so happy I don't want to leave. I love all these old people hanging out and fishing. Alright, that's fine. Don't worry, the plot will move on without you. Although, I'm gonna feel really bad when, you know, some global cataclysm happens. Because... Oh, my husband, Luda, was gone. He was probably sleepwalking again. Oh, yeah! I should probably do something about that, huh? Since I'm the big damn hero, right? Okay. Where would the other tree be? I know I've seen two of them. Both of them seem to be on the westward side of the map. I'm just trying to retrace my steps. Maybe it was by the port town. I... It's been so long since I've been to that port town, I can't even remember. Jeffersonville. <laughs> that changed my mind. Thought about it. Realized I held the power of life and death in my hands, decided not to exercise it. Wow. So I'm gonna go south of Minea, and we'll just see if the other tree is over here. Fingers freaking crossed. I do think it's pretty cool that the town is actually rather to scale. Like, the town is exactly as wide as the walls and as tall. You know, like, 
lot of RPG worlds, like, they... I don't have a problem with it. In fact, A, do I not really mind, B, I don't notice, and C, I don't care. But a lot of times in, in games, they kind of compress the maps. Like, you know, the house will be, like, six tiles wide and about eight tiles tall, and then you go into it, and it's, like, you know, 30 by 30 or something. Look at him. He thinks he RPG makers. But, you know, just something to notice. Okay, how the... It's the starter town. How do I not know how to get back to it? You know, I feel like I really should check on those people. They probably think I'm laying dead in some truck stop somewhere, don't they? Actually, I don't think there were that many screens. Nope, there weren't. Are there any shops in here? Oh yeah, that guy can't get anything. And I really don't want to talk to Richter again. Okay! Well, at least we've got that down, right? Oh my god. Okay. So I know they're both towards the west, if I recall. I just gotta find them. Wow, that's really incredible, Adol. You ate a tree seed and learned how to talk to trees. Yeah, yeah. I did it right after I learned how to speak Orcish. Everyone's like... No, I'm sorry. I'm rambling at this point. Wait, I don't think I ever stopped. I tell you, man, this is the one I was at, wasn't it? <laughs> they blow up into little Picards. The cards? Getting tricky over here. Or something. I've already talked to you. He's gonna be like, hey, talk to my brother. So, okay. Three up, nah, nah, nah. I think once I get north of the mine. Oh, well, here's the mine. We can test that theory real quick. In my head, it always seemed like they were like three, um... Oh, maybe it wasn't to the... Maybe they're not both to the left. You know, I mean, that would be kind of weird from an RPG perspective anyway, so... No hidden tiles over there either, so obviously I haven't explored everywhere because there's a wolf mocking me as we speak. Because like most old video game characters, uh, water, instant death. Instant murderous drowning death. all. Epic Village, we don't really... <sighs> wow, yeah, what a stream, right? What a spectacle, what a show, the same... There's a mine, we know we've already explored that one. I don't remember once you get to the foothills. Once you get to the foothills, I don't think there's any more uh, plains tiles. It's got to be this general area, right? I mean, I 
tag. 21 HP. At this point, it just it just it just feels a little unfair. This epic should be right here. Yeah. There wasn't anywhere south of here I could go out of either. What's over here? Impossible to cross rock borders. Okay, that's fine. Because if we go north here, then it just leads to those few screens worth of the mountains and the temple, if I recall. So there's no reason to check there, because I know I've seen both trees before. And I know they're both in the plains. Because the rain in Spain, that's where the rain falls on. How did that thing even go? Pat, do you know, what is it, the rain in the plains falls mostly in Spain? Cat's like, dude, I don't even care. I, I don't want to learn your English. Or your Spanish. Oh, you cat. Cat's like, I don't need to learn anything other than I stare intently at your face, meow, and you you open a can of the good stuff. I love that little touch. The mine, you know, the mine's in trouble, so the sign's broken. I'm gonna bust it down, the fence posts and everything. Alright, well, I've been hanging to the, the west part, because in my head, it's almost like there's three lanes of the plains running from north to south, and so I've been hanging out in the west one this whole time. That doesn't go anywhere. So now, I need to see if the center or the east go anywhere. The curloid. Curloid. I wonder what I'm gonna spend all this money on. I mean, the highest value items were like, what, five grand? Seven grand? Now that I have 58,000 gold. I never bought another wing, did I? Oh, totally did. Searched everywhere down there too. Oh my god. So lost, ooh baby. Oh, I don't know. It's not that I'm lost, it's that I'm not finding things. <laughs> like I know where I am, so technically I'm not lost. It's, I don't know where the thing is. And this cat's not helping any. The pressure really is on. This cat is giving me the ultimate stank eye. Well, not that stank eye. I love that it blows up in the smaller versions of its- Oh no, is that just clumps of fur? For a second there, I thought I was helping them reproduce, like violently smashing my sword into their face was actually helping them out. Maybe it's somewhere in here. You know, I haven't exactly been supremely thorough here. I've just been mainly hanging around the periphery. <laughs> Sorry, bud. I missed. Maybe it was this tree right here. Maybe maybe little Rhoda didn't really have a chance. Ooh, this would be a great place for a secret passage.
Dear tree, could you at least shoot a flare up into the sky so I know where you are? Boy, this reminds me of a uh, Dragon Warrior. Of course, I hate to say it, every every RPG is going to remind me of Dragon Warrior. Now you're the one I've already talked to, aren't you? Just seems so. Hey, actually, maybe if I'm patient, he'll give me a clue of where to go. Oh no, he's going to say everything again. Well, hi, Rhoda. My name is Human. He's really... He didn't give me any directions, if I recall. He just tells me, hey, go look for my brother. I'm probably, I'm probably contributing to, like, someone's severe, like, painful bout with heart disease because they know exactly where it is and they're just screaming at the screen right now. Like, frothing flex of spittle. Like, hitting the, hitting the screen, like, you just turn right, then left, then down, then over three, then back two, then up seven, and then you've got to equip the magic joy scepter. You whirl it around three times, four times instantly kills you, but you whirl it around three times. And then it's right there. It's right freaking there. It's literally right there. Son of a... Alright then! Ah. Darkness against us in the world. It brings another nightmare to yeast. Oh, swordsman, thy journey begins now. The silver light beckons both hope and destruction. Lose not thy way, lose not thy will. Leave thy heart open to the possibilities. <laughs> okay. Whatever you. Oh! Silver light began to spill off from the roots of the great tree. Silver sword has been bestowed! I am totally okay with that. Let's see what this does. Its silver glow can destroy evil. I just happen to know a certain little baddie baddie that's been naughty this year. Unfortunately, to A Unfortunately, Adol does not gain the ability to shoot lasers out of his sword. Well. That only took about 30 minutes longer than it needed to. No reason to feel bad. Right, Gravy? I'm sorry, this this music gets my head bobbing no matter what. You know, there's, there's a certain skill in making, there's a certain really, really beloved skill of making a melody that doesn't get old after hearing it on loop for hours, you know? Now, I'm not saying I'd go out of my way and, you know, like, just put this on a CD you know, on repeat ten times in a row, like I did with Abba's Dancing Queen on a dare once. I don't think I ever fully recovered from that. Alright, vampire. You know, a vampire being vanquished with a silver sword at least makes more um, sense than werewolves being killed by titanium. 
Woo! I am a portable enemy blender now. I mean, it had Christopher Lee in it. I think it was, what, Howling 2? Um, it had Christopher Lee in it, and they were killing werewolves, but basically every part of the mythos, including, like, holy water and stuff like that, things you'd associate with killing vampires, yeah, that's what they used to kill the werewolves. Um, Spoonie has an absolutely fantastic review of that movie. You, you, you really, you really should check it out, because it's one of those, like, did nobody look up and go, doesn't this just seem a little weird, guys? Doesn't this seem a little, like, assfully? Whoa, did I just stumble on it? Oh, oh, it's okay. Wow. Did I just stroll in on a dead end? You know, Adol, I'm starting to think that you are a practitioner of Hokuto Shinkin. Only, only Kinshiro could make people steadily detonate this well. Now that is a... Ugh. You know, I love it, but uh, watching a little bit of it on... Uh, on, on Crunchyroll, it some of it definitely kind of shows its uh, its 80s ness. Like there's a there's a fight where well there's a part where Kinshiro rolls up in this town and this bad guy is like challenging people to an arm wrestling contest. And when Kinshiro steps up and decides to accept it, because I don't remember why. Basically, you you know when your memory is corrupted because something so weird happens that you forget the hows and the whys and everything. Like, all I remember is that the second Kinshiro puts his arms, he, he puts his arm on there to arm wrestle this guy on a on a wooden barrel, like a literal Donkey Kong country, like Diddy Kong is tapping and trying to get out. Okay, this is B1. First floor, okay, that obviously, that kind of looks like it's going down, but it kind of looks like it's going up. I'm not really sure. Anyway. So, there's this literal Diddy Kong wooden barrel, no no frills, no fluff, it's got the little iron bands down the side, it's just the most boring looking thing you've ever seen. thought those were the stairs for a second. Um, no sooner does he ante up than the evil bad guy looking like ringleader dude taps the side of it and these freaking saw blades come out and start whirling. So obviously, you know, if you lose the race, you if you lose the uh, contest, you also lose your arm. Um, but, uh, like, just the way that it comes, and, and, and the big bad running the entire spectacle, well, he's a really tiny bearded man who fights on a pole, and he basically, like, he spends the entire fight, like, up on this pole, like, yelling stuff at Kinshiro, and Kinshiro just grabs the pole and, like, shakes the dude, and you're like, you know, for every, like, for every Rei versus Rao, and for every, like, um, you know, Toki fighting with Rao at the end, you know, brother versus brother, for all that cool stuff, there are some really, really weird fights and scenes, like the time that, you know, Kinshiro goes into this village, and this guy who kind of looks like he kind of looks like evil, like, well, okay, evil Ozzy Osbourne? That's kind of a weird thing to say, Cravey, but no, no, this this is like, 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 Ozzy's like, on the alignment axis, he's like awesome evil, and this guy is just, just because evil, like he's turned everyone into zombies, which I didn't really think you could do in a post, but, but at the same time, you know, Kinshiro punches you in the soul so hard you detonate, so I guess anything is really possible. I guess I should concentrate on where I'm going instead of talking about Fist of the North Star, but... I mean, it's, 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 it's Fist of the North Star. How do you hate that? Okay. So, when I went through here, why did this not work? I'm going this way. Leads to the yeah, and then the treasure room that loops up. I am clearly once again lost. 
That should just be the title of like every single one of these episodes. Oh look, in episode five, Craven gets lost again. Where are you? Well, I see a bunch of cans on the wall and they all say soup. You're in the soup aisle? Go to the next aisle. What does that say? It says soup. Where the hell are you? I'm in the soup store. Why are you buying soup? Sorry, it's old as the internet, but it's wonderful. Actually, no, it's not old as the internet. That would be like, what, Pico? <laughs> Ex Mortis? Oh lordy, new grounds. You're giving me flashbacks I can't even understand. Okay. Okay, Cravey, focus. You're in a mine. You're surrounded by... You're surrounded by giant licky monsters named Dynic. You're on your way to fight a vampire bat. How is this not awesome enough to hold your attention for like... 10 minutes? Okay. So we're back to Mining Pit 2, so that's not doing anything. You know what, let's recuperate while we're here. Work on our freshness, catch a little bit of breeze, check the pits out, you know. Alright, check my hair. Doing okay. Got more money than literally anyone would ever need in this game, because I've been grinding for so long. Okay. Are you sure there's no keys in it? And yes, I will continue to be salty about that. That chest was open. Like, there are no, there's no reason why I should have checked, had to check that chest. Which means I would still be stuck on that part. Hi, Karen. Okay, I'm not going in that. That just loops me. There have to be stairs or something here. Or I guess it could be in the other screen, but... I'm digging this music, but the, the long... The long, sh like, synth whales... Um make me think of, uh, maybe I gotta go up before I can go down, you know what I mean? That leads back to here. Yeah, this is the only, these are the only stairs that take you down. Of course, you know, being reminded of Fantasy Star Online is not a bad thing. Never got to play it online, though. Um, my buddy had the GameCube edition, and yes, we did play it, uh, four-player split scope. It was right there? Really? Once again, chalk it up to making things too hard on myself. Alright, now we just need to find the stairs down, and we can punch this boss right in the nostrils. I'm really hoping the silver sword is the trump card that I needed. Really sincerely hoping that's it. I've been in a few caves in my life, and, uh, A, they're usually, like, I mean, they're very tourist-friendly caves, so yes, you can run around like this, but man, there's just something about them that just slows me to a crawl. Maybe I watch too many sci-fi movies. Maybe I watch Tremors one too many times. Alright, I'm gonna pause here and heal up for a little bit.